peace. Think fast. That wasn't even moving too fast. <laughs> but Super Bowl. Super Bowl tomorrow or today, how we see it, man. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, it is what it is as far as, like, you know, it's going to... And everybody's gonna be enjoying itself as far as watching this stuff like that. But just don't forget that it is a distraction, and that there are still things that we need to be, you know, working on to to change. You know, what I'm saying there's a lot of, you know, things that that football distract you from. That you know, what I'm saying that we could be working on, and which I got to tell everybody, you know, on the conscious tip, unconscious, spiritual, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if you consider yourself on your ascension and on your growth, becoming your greatest virgin, it's like ain't nothing going to kill your consciousness about watching the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of people, oh, yeah, man, Babylon, I ain't watching that Super Bowl. I mean, that's on you. I know if I get a chance to watch, I'm going to watch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I know how to, you know, be source and watch a football game. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's something... And that's just nostalgic that you're used to, you know what I'm saying, that that was always there, you know what I'm saying. But just don't forget that this is like, you know, the gladiator situation where, you know, matter of fact, is letting the players, you know, harm each other, you know, which they try to clean it up. But, you know, it's like the gladiators, you know, making it a big event while, you know, while the Romans out there taxing without representation, you know, fussing over what laws they're going to create makeup and change you know what i'm saying but you know just stay stay aware you know what i'm saying don't don't get lost in the mix you know what i'm saying and another cool thing about it i thought about was uh how you know lady gaga is the halftime show you know do what doing the halftime show and how i already know she's into you know the cult the way she be coming and stuff like that but i already know that the you know the halftime show is gonna be you know very symbolic i already feel it you know what I'm saying? They're going to have the eye of Horace and probably the flower of life and all kind of sacred geometry going on for it. Matter of fact, you also got the fact that, you know, which you could look at the Falcons or, uh, you know, or Hawk, you know, the eye of Horace, you know what I'm saying? That Hawk's eye, you know, or that Hawk got that sight to see, you know, past and future, you know, that prophetic insight, you know, that eye of Horus, but the Atlanta Falcons, you know, and then two, that's the indigenous, you know, story of, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, dealing with Heru, where you get Jesus or Yeshua from, you know, however, you know, want to break that down, but, you know, that's the original, you know, or one of the original stories, you know what I'm saying, we're dealing with, you know, eye of Horus or whatever, and Horus, you know, was a the son, I mean, yeah, the son of Mayat, you know, and Mayat is like Mary in the story, but also how, like, the Falcons playing against the Patriot, you know, the Patriot, you know what I'm saying, in the USA, which, you know what I'm saying, which, for whatever that is, you know what I'm saying, because people be walking around with that make America great again, I'm like, you know, for one, you shouldn't even focus, don't focus yourself too much trying to fight with, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, let's make America great for the first time if you're gonna put some energy towards it, you know. If you call yourself trying to fix the situation, then yeah, let's make it great for the first time. But anyway, <laughs> the Patriot situation against the Hulk, like the, the indigenous culture and knowledge, you know, that's arising right now, the consciousness that's awakening, you know, people, you know, becoming conscious against that Patriot, you know, which we all know what America been standing for, like the first president or whatever, and not could they. You know, it was said that they had presidents before George Washington, but as far as what they, you know, what most people know, you know, from George Washington on down, you know, George Washington owned slaves, this and that, so they never were about true and real freedom, you know what I'm saying, in essence, you know, it was always about some, you know, to keep the indigenous people down, so this Patriot versus Falcon game also holds that symbology to it also, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, that's just my intuitive analogy of it you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure you could get your own or you know you've heard you know pretty sure you know you watch all the youtube people like you know conscious brethren and sister that have their own little say on the situation but i just know that you know it's and it's all kind of things mixed into it because it's going to be ritual ritualistic also you know because everybody is watching so it's going to have something to so 
it's something in there to program your subconscious to in the halftime show nine times out of ten you know but when you know what you're dealing with <laughs> you know what i'm saying you don't have to be scared to watch the super bowl or you don't have to be you know when you, you know what you're dealing with know what you got to do to fix the situation then like i say it don't it, then the super bowl doesn't be a, you know it doesn't become a problem watching it if you understand that to you know just stay moving in the direction that you need to be moving in you know what i'm saying and don't let the game don't don't let your egos fussing about who is the best quarterback or if this was the best super bowl you know spending like three weeks fussing about that you know what i'm saying opinionated you know sports analysis that you don't get paid for you know <laughs> which is fun you know the ego is dealing with the ego is fun to go back and forth on points you know what i'm saying as far as dealing with the ego i don't really do that that's why even when speaking knowledge like i won't go back and forth with nobody i'm either cut the conversation off or just listen and just not even fuss though you know what i'm saying but anyway have fun with it you know but don't get caught up in it you know don't be fussing about you know i ain't gonna say don't be but you know try not to get caught up in a month from now oh, yeah man uh, this and that uh, that's a rig and this and that that's another thing too you know which that does go into sports too most of this is it's part you know rig part the players going out there and really playing you know what i'm saying for the most part is the refs you know, kind of helping control things and other little small intricate things that happen high up, like where a player may be, you know, hurt and could come back, but they may say, ah, you know, look, it's not really meant for us to win, so just stay on the sideline, you know, don't even come out even though you're healthy, just stay with your cast on, you know, just stuff like, you know, little subtle things like that, just for example, you know what I'm saying, but for the most part, and you could tell, that's why I, sometimes I like watching sports, because I could tell, well, all right, this this was fixed, or like, damn, all right, they let them kind of play this one out, you know what I'm saying? Like, it it be sometimes, well, you know, where the book is, and everybody could agree upon, just let them play, you know what I'm saying? Like, where well, everybody, you know, everybody could win, we could get a good sporting experience, everybody, the book is get paid, you know, uh, the, the, the symbology that the 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 one percenters want to have behind the game as far as like what well, the year when they let the Patriots win after nine eleven you know like that was they fixed that you know that's what certain things be fit you know what I'm saying but it's all good <laughs> and my fact and don't get too caught up in all that you know I'm just bringing this up don't get caught up in all that conspiracy and when I say conspiracy like I call it that in the essence of getting I feel like you're being a conspiracy theorist, like in the definition of it, quote unquote, when you focus and indulge and just like, oh yeah, this proving it, proving that, like man, I just know what you're dealing with and act accordingly, be aware. You know? But peace, happy now. Signing off, waiting for the Super Bowl to come on late home. <laughs> peace, man, happy now, man, blessings.